All right, um, so now that the 2003 Boxster is running, um, I need to get it off the trailer and run it up and down the street, make sure the transmission's working. Um, but of course, the front tires on this thing were shot. Um, somebody had let them go flat and the sidewalls were completely rotted out. I don't know if they drove on them or what. The rims don't look damaged, but the tires were completely sidewall tore up. So this morning, uh, after calling numerous tire shops and places, nobody had the size I needed. Luckily, I found a guy that had just posted a brand new set on OfferUp. So, got a set of tires that were the same size, 400 tread wear, so decent tire. Uh, two tires for 200 bucks. So, grabbed those, went to the corner tire shop this morning, and had them throw them on the rims. So, the next thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and drive it on these uh, brakes. The pad material looks pretty decent, um, but I'm going to go ahead and add this stuff to my list. I, I kind of want to do some new coilovers and stuff, but for the most part, everything looks pretty good. Just a little dirty and dusty, a lot of cobwebs and stuff, but not too bad. So the other thing is, is uh, my car did not come with its toolkit. So I got lucky on eBay. Um, made an offer, guy took it. So this was the cheapest one by over 50 bucks. Um, it's complete, and which is a good thing because one of the parts in here, this guy right here, nope, not this one, this one. This guy right here is important that I found out because it is designed for people like me who don't want to hold the uh, wheel and tire up. Uh, you just screw that in that way you can hang the wheel on that and get your lug started now if you go to studs you don't need to worry about that but i'm um, sure a lot of porsche owners know about this tool i didn't i actually happened to watch a tip and trick video on the boxster here the other night saw that and thought that's a good thing i ordered that uh, t tire kit um, because i knew about this tool and that was for getting the headlight buckets and the taillight buckets out. So I needed that, and then I didn't have a tow hook. So those were important things to pick up. But yeah, I'm glad I watched the video on that. And uh, so next I'm going to grab the wheels out of the back of my truck. I'm going to go ahead and start fitting them back on. Um, try to get this off the jack stands. Um, it's currently 101. So I was going to wait until it cooled down a little bit. I was hoping the shade had moved, but it hasn't. And then I'll probably move some vehicles around so I can pull the trailer out and uh, try to back this off the trailer tonight or tomorrow morning. Just depends on how far I get in the heat. So let me grab the tires and bring them back over here and get this started. And uh, just like that, screwed in. Um, just use the screwdriver to tighten that up. Now that's balanced on that and I can start putting in the lugs. I'm uh, not putting in the locking lug because uh, I'm going to be taking the wheels back off anyway. Um, but yeah, so let me get these lug nuts started uh, now that the wheel's up there. All right, with my long breaker bar, I just sort of have uh, tightened these down. The wheel's still up, so I just kind of bounce tightened them so that they're nice and squared. I'm going to go around and do the other side and get this out of here real quick. So yeah, that's all it is. That's all easy peasy. All right, let's do the other side. Okay, so tools in place. I'll pull the wheel, which is laying right there at the front of the trailer. Get that over here, and then I can get this off the jack stand as well. And uh, see about getting that done. I do need to go through here and clean this all up, but uh, like I said, right now I just want to get it off the trailer. That way I can put the Baja back on the trailer and uh, I can work on this on the ground. It's okay. Let me grow the tire and get it back up on here. All right. So just like the other side, I got those all hand started. Next thing we're going to do, and this is the way I normally do this. Oops. And... 
All right, I got the wheel back on halfway through that. Uh, the phone overheated. Like I said, it's 101 right now. So even just setting the phone down, even in the shaded areas, it's still super hot. So uh, just jack this side of the car up. And we're going to go ahead and pull the jack stands out. And then we'll go ahead and set it down. And now we'll do the other side. All right, same thing on the driver's side. Jack it up a little bit. Clear the jack stand. And set it back down. All right, well, I'm gonna take a short break. Come back in an hour or two once it's cooled off. Okay, so we're playing musical shuffles. It's currently uh, 101. It's uh, about 6.30 in the afternoon, so it's still pretty freaking hot. But I moved all the cars out of the driveway. What I'm going to do is back the Porsche off here. I'm going to pull the truck forward enough so that I can just drive between the back of the trailer and here. And then I can go down the driveway, put the bug back on the trailer, and then I'm going to push the trailer back as far as I can, leaving space out front so I can put the Porsche just on the inside of the gate that way as I get it ready to drive I don't have to keep messing with the trailer so that's what we're gonna do next we're gonna pop this thing off to of the trailer real quick and uh, try to get the rest of these cars parked all right musical cars is complete I've got enough room back there to park the Boxster without having to move the trailer and I can still get around to the garage here sits the Boxster, drove it off the trailer, drove it to this spot. I am going to drive it around the block before I put it up for the night. Um, of course, I parked like an idiot, so I can't park the truck where it normally goes because uh, this line here is my parking line and I'm over it. So every vehicle has to line up on the line so I can get in and out of them. Uh, crazy. Okay, so... I'm going to pull this over, I'm going to park the truck, I'll put the orange car back in the driveway, and then I just have to put the van back when I am done. Alright, here's a quick shot with the roof down. Um, for some reason, I'm not getting it to go all the way down here. Um, and I do have a roof up uh, light going on, so I don't know if something is in here blocking this. Um, I do know that this has got a glass top, but that shouldn't matter, right? These should still fold all the way down. So, um, well, I'm gonna sputz it around the, the block real quick. Um, it's been sitting here running for a few minutes. So, it still says it has a misfire, um, like I said, but uh, tomorrow I will ha start doing the tune-up. I got plugs and boots. Uh, I didn't buy coils because uh, no coil thing showed up, so yeah, uh, oil and plugs tomorrow, we'll see how it drives after that, um, and uh, go from there. Yeah, I'm doing all sorts of illegal stuff. I'm driving, no plates, no registration, and I'm cell phoning, so I'm just going around the block real quick just uh, see how it does but so far everything else is uh, working pretty good I'm just uh, riding on the brakes here because trying to knock off some of that rust I'm gonna do a u-turn right here I went about, I don't know, a thousand feet past my house up the street here. Brakes are there but hard. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing.
brakes are there, so. Temperature is up to about 185. The fans just kicked on. All right, let's go back up in here. No strange screaks or rattles. 